Okay, this is on the Williams job, number 54231, installed on 720 by Gilbert. So if you come down the stairs, um, it's kind of hidden. In the bathroom laundry room, there's this door here. And I don't know how he opened it, but the furnace room is behind this door. Um, there's also another door here to the pan in the pantry. Anyway, um, so the new furnace will sit 10 and a half inches from this two by four wall. I marked it. Um, it'll sit the same. You know, the bottom will be flat with the bottom of the duct. Furnace will sit on a base. Furnace, coil, um, and deck just as it shows. So, furnace is actually sitting two inches over from the duct, and it's going to offset back two inches. I did that so I can get good starting collars here. So, this fitting here will be one inch out on top and bottom only. The sides will be straight, um, but you will have to, you know, bend the one inch out for that duct going out the back. And then this side will be straight, you know. Okay. Um, seven inch wide filter box, 20 by 25. And duct just at the shows. Um, bottom flat, right, we'll go over two inches. So your cut line is edge to edge on that one, right there. Supply is right there and edge to edge. Okay. Combustion air is okay. It's right there. Ouch. Oh, that was my funny bone. Um, your vent, you're going to tie into the existing 3 inch PVC. I'll give you 490s, 445s. Um, so that should be enough to do. Two reducers. Um, your gas. So in the gas, our new. Uh, Return air is four inches wider. So on the gas, on this T, it already has a drip leg. You're going to turn the T that way, put a four inch nipple on it, and um, a 90, then a flex. And you're going to reuse this long nipple that comes out of the furnace to our new furnace. So, out of the furnace, you have a close, a 90, close, and a 90. Then reuse that 24 inch nipple. Okay. Um, I'll go over the AC in a minute. So, the drain is just to the floor, right there, standard order. Um, thermostat. Salesman has an Ecobee 3 thermostat. Um, so they only have four wires going to it now. So you'll need to pull a, another wire, a new wire to the thermostat. And there is a return air under the thermostat, so it shouldn't be hard to pull, hopefully. Um, But yeah, I would pull a new eight wire. Okay, so, and so they have an eco B on the wall right now. I'm guessing since the thermostat wrote eco B3, that he ordered an eco B3. So um, if they're not using this old thermostat and they don't want it, um, give it to me. I'm looking for one, actually two, but. <laughs> I'll take them as I can get them. Um, okay, so on the um, air conditioner, so I'm gonna replace the root protect as needed. I'm gonna flush the three quarter inch line. So I did order you six feet of three quarter inch root protect. Um, and so 
help her with the room. Um, so the breaker panel is right here. It was behind this big mirror, just in case. So it is in the bathroom. Ouch. The existing breaker is 40 amp home line. So our electrician needs to replace it with a 30 amp home line. And I'll schedule the electrician to come do that. Um, otherwise, let's go. Turn off all these lights. There we go. Outside, the air conditioner will sit on the west side in the backyard. So yeah, here's our existing thermostat. Um, and there is a return air under it, so hopefully it won't be too bad to cool. Okay, so here's our existing thermostat. I'm going to need to replace the insulation on here, of course. Um, and of course, cut out this filter dryer. Um, we use the same disconnect. And put on a new 36 by 36 pad. And that is it.